Yeah. It's Renee got a stain on this and I can't get it out. But we need it and it doesn't look pretty enough. Anyways, today we're making um Pakistani style omelet. Um and hopefully it comes out great today. I hope so. I hope so. No, okay. Okay. Ah! Guys, welcome back to Junk Food Cuisine, and as you see, I got the stain out. Now look how nice it looks, and it's usable. You want to start with your jalapeno pepper, and you want to slice it into very small pieces. Guys, very small pieces, no big chunks. These onions were so hard to cut, I was crying the whole time. <laughs> I'm joking. But, you need to make the onions as small as the jalapeno peppers. Now let's just move that out of the way and move on. To be honest, I am not a big fan of tomatoes, but they add a juiciness to the eggs, to the whole omelet itself, and you have to cut them up into tiny pieces just like everything else. Everything has to be cut tiny. That looked better in my head. Didn't come out as good. Anyways, when you're cutting the cilantro, you want to keep folding it. So when you cut it, you get a bunch of it together and you get very thin, nice slices. I didn't know this until Renee told me, and it helps you so much when you cut cilantro. It's really a pro tip. The cilantro, onions, peppers, and tomatoes are all done. Let's move on to the eggs. You're gonna need three eggs for this. It's I showed you two, but trust me, you're gonna need three. I'll explain later. Now you want to just stir it like you're going to stir up some drama with your boyfriend because you're bored to get a reaction out of him. Just stir it all good until it's all yellow. We all know how to stir eggs. I just have to say something up here so you don't get bored. You want to drop the cilantro in now like all those toxic people in your life. You want to drop them and get rid of them so you can be happy. Now you want to drop in your onions, like your hottest clothing line, and then stir it up again. You want to drop your tomatoes in to make it all juicy, and now stir that up. And now you want to drop in your jalapeno pepper, sprinkle that in like salt bay. And you wanna wait for it, stir it up again. Hold on, you okay? One second. You really have to look up a picture of a smiley face to draw a smiley face. So I want to make it look good. I don't want to look trash. Junk Food Cuisine always got the quality content. Let me see the egg. Look how good that egg looks. You want to assemble your spices. And we put a little too much of everything. So we have to put another egg in. Look how happy it is. And we're gonna kill him. I'm sorry guys, but I had to kill him. Spread his guts everywhere. Now he's dead. And I threw him away. And I crushed him. Sorry guys. You wanna just mix that up again. Now you wanna add your salt, red chili powder, and red bell pepper flakes. 
pour it in and just start to stir it really good make sure it's not just bunched up in one side it's everywhere you want to turn your stove on to a medium heat and let your pan get warm don't burn yourself guys and we use vegetable oil so you want to when you pour your vegetable oil you want to spread it out evenly and I just kind of moved it side to side so I could spread it out evenly. Now when you pour your egg, pour it through the center so it pours everywhere and see how it became a big circle and it's all even. You want to keep the stove on medium heat when you're cooking it and when the sides become like a yellow and it looks solidified, then you cut it and you flip it so you don't make a mess. And you want to get that golden brown color. That's the color you want to look for, and that's how you'll know it's finished cooking. Also, make sure that you got every side flipped and cooking because you don't want to eat raw egg. Trust me. The omelet came out perfect, and you can eat it with toast, but we are going to be making paratha which is a Pakistani and Indian staple for breakfast and we'll also be showing you how to make it. It's very simple and easy. You want to keep your stove on medium heat and then all you have to do, so simple, is just take off the plastic wrap and just place it right on it. Easy. So you want to wait until you get that darker beige color and then you want to flip it. After a minute or two, you want to flip it and you want to get that perfect golden brown color. When you get this golden brown color, that's when you know you finished cooking it. Alright guys, the omelette came out amazing. I got some friends who just came from the gym to peep the video and let's see how they like it. So we got Oof. Renee, Kyle, you know me. Alex, and you know Chris from last video. Muffin man. And be sure to check out their channel. We asked that W A T. Alex and Kyle put on some amazing and funny videos. So just dig into it. I'm hungry. I've been watching homework for Tear it apart. You didn't hit the gym. I hit the gym, buddy. Exactly. Mmm. This is not your average omelet. Some Asian omelet. Spice it up. It's good. Get your protein in. We're eating a little too much there. Bro, I'm hungry, I'm telling you. Look at the man's digging we didn't in. We eat after the gym, bro. How do you think we do? You guys didn't eat? Look at Kyle, bro. You never had anything like this? <laughs> this video is Always eating McDonald's, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A. Nothing like this. You don't get food at home? 